It's actually my second time vlogging in the gym. First time I vlogged, um, my audio wasn't working. But we are just going to start with a little warm up. Let's go ahead and get into it. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel if you already are. <laughs> When I'm doing my Romanian deadlifts, a rule of thumb for any exercise core always stays nice and tight. So I only drop right below my knees, right? I'm bending my knees slightly so that we take the hamstrings out of the movement, but I'm dropping the weight right below my knees, coming back up and squeezing my glutes very slightly. Typically, I would also set up my weight before I actually got into my warm up. That way, I can jump right into the next exercise. I'm going to do some bandit cape backs now to superset with my. Romanian deadlift people are watching me y'all. This is strange. As y'all can see, where you place your band on band and kickback is wherever you you feel the most tension in your glutes when you kick back, but you do want to make sure your toes point it upward, like you're trying to point them towards the sky. So like this, right? While you're kicking back. It's just proper form. Not enough vlogging in the gym. I definitely feel like it's going to be even more stairs, but it's okay, honestly. I think people are just more intrigued or curious, so I'm not going to let it hold me back. Ooh, I got to get used to talking to y'all because my words are getting all types of crossed up. I would highly recommend doing a practice set before you get into your working set of any of your movements. That way you make sure you're comfortable this is my second glute day of the week so i am focusing on heavier weight and then less reps so i'm about to do four sets of four to six reps if i'm not mistaken if not it's around about six to eight i need to put something down to protect your back because well the platforms do have a lot of ridges and y'all they hurt the more weight you begin to lift the harder it is to just do hip thrust with one pad alone so if you have two mats definitely fold one up so we're gonna put on my gloves making sure we're comfortable breath in before we lift and breath out that actually wasn't that bad that actually felt good so i'm gonna go ahead and go up i like to go up from anywhere between two and a half to five pounds at a time so nothing too crazy just to make sure again my form is still intact
y'all, that was the end of our workout. So we're gonna close out with just some basic stretches and then go home and eat. I don't think I need to stop by the grocery store before I go home, but if I do, y'all will see that. So let's stretch. I've honestly been slacking so bad on my stretching. Like I haven't been prioritizing it and I can really feel it. And that's the thing about working out, like you have to um, prioritize everything as a whole as far as like exercising and stretching, mobility. So yeah, I'm gonna do better. And y'all are gonna help me do better. This is like one of the best stretches for the upper back. If you haven't tried it, definitely get into it. Take off the uniform, take off the car, take off the flex and the white loss. Take off the word. Follow me on Instagram, you see me make this A chicken salad basically. Put y'all down so y'all can see. Take off your idols, take off the runway, take off the Cairo. Take off the Sanzo, pay five years, pay ten for the new and the final. Take off the far flag, take off perception, take off the pop with the hot pad. Take off the hunger, take off the unsure, take off the decisions I'm at. Take off the fake deep, take off the fake bowl, take off the humble cock here. Take off the gossip, take off the new logic, then if I'm with jump real. Take off the sweat mill, take off the doge, take off the broken bed. All that goes on the bullshit, off and what do you have? The profits of the Lord take advantage, the market is crashing, the